Hey guys, Rich Page, our gem of the Dimma Frame Company, the main Dimma Framer. I made a couple of videos showing some raised panel door frames that I made, and I talked about using the Panto router to make the mortise and tenons. Uh, let me show you the machine, and then we'll see what we can do to set it up and make some make a mortise and a tenon, just to show you how easy it is to use the machine. All right, I'm going to move the camera around. Okay, this is the machine. You can see these online uh, on Panto Router. P-A-N-T-O, router.com. Uh, pretty straightforward. It's a, it's got a Bosch router. Um, and what it is, basically, it's it's jigged up. Uh, and one of the key things for this machine are these templates. There's a whole host of templates you can use. I'm using a uh, inch and a half template up here. And how the templates work, I'm trying to get in here with the camera, is there's two portions of it. The inside portion, if you use... If you put your fixture inside this portion and cut, you're going to cut the mortise. When you take when you take this out, slides out with a thumb screw here, and you put it on top, then you go around the fixture, that cuts your tenon. So that's how simple it is. Probably takes a couple, three hours to set the machine up and get it so it works right. But after that, it is extremely repeatable. So without a lot of ado, let me put the camera over here. I'm going to set up a piece, and we'll see if we can't make a mortise. All right, got the camera over here, yeah. Let me tip it down. So we're gonna grab a piece of wood. Uh, this this wood is two and a quarter. This is what uh, I'm using on the rails and styles um, for, the, uh, for the raised panels that I'm using. So to clamp it down, it's pretty straightforward. You just grab it and clamp it. I'm gonna put a... I'm going to put a, I'm going to make a mortise first. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to bring in, I got a couple side stops. Let me show you the side stops real quick. And, and typically you want to make a mortise first because then you can size the tenon to it. So you see my center line here. So I just put this fence just enough to catch the corner of the wood, but you don't want to run into it with the, with the, uh, with the router bit. So you got to bring it in, touch it off like this. And then you've got a, you got a little apparatus. With, we put a block over here, same thickness as this block. Then we're going to put one across the top, kind of like this, bring this over. And then we're going to clamp it down. That's how, that's how simple that works. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to move our rod assembly here. It's got a thumb screw on the top. I'm going to pull it out. I'm going to lift it up, and I'm going to slide it into the template. You go all the way to the back, and you bring it out just a hair so you don't scrape up your, your templates. It's got a, it's got a uh, little bearing on it. So now it's inside. So I'm going to bring it forward with this lever over here. Let me see if I can make this a little smaller. So we bring this lever in over here, and we're going to touch off on the piece on, on the piece of wood where you want to pay, make your mortise. Okay, so I'm touching off here. I'm not, I'm not going to hit my, my red stop over here, so I'm good. Now, down below here, this is where you, set, this is where you make your money. You set your gauge right here. So we're going to set this gauge. I'm going to expand the camera just a little bit so you can see it. So typically I'll make my mortises one eighth deeper, one an inch and an eighth, and then I'll make my tenons at one inch. So that way when you build your uh, cabinets, you're not going to have uh, a, a tenon that bottoms out inside the mortise. Okay, so we've got that set up. I'm ready to cut a mortise. It has a real nice dust chute here that goes on. I'm going to keep it off so that way I can put the camera and you can actually watch it cut. All right, so without a lot of ado, let's fire this up and make a, uh, make a mortise. Clear prop. I'm not going to run the dust collection because it makes too much noise. Okay, there you have it, a mortise complete. Now, the, you'll see a little bit of dust here and there. When the blower's on and the dust hood's on, there's virtually no dust with this thing, so that works out pretty well. All right, I'm going to take this out. We're going to save this piece because we're going we're gonna to set it up in a second. And I'm going to take another piece, and let's make a corresponding tenon 
for that mortise we just made. How easy it is, I've already got a fence. There's a graduated fence set up over here. I've already got this in position. We're gonna move this stop out of the way because it's not required for the tenon. We're gonna bring this down, arbitrary position, no big deal. Clamp it. I'm gonna put another clamp in a little closer just so we reduce the vibration on it. Now, same, same as before, we're gonna bring this in and touch off, and then we're gonna set the gauge to one inch. I'm gonna show you that in a second here. Okay, so I'm touching off. I've got the gauge set now at one inch, and if you remember on the mortise, we were at an inch and an eighth, so the tenon is gonna be one inch, so it won't bottom out. Now, the other thing we do up here is we were running inside to make the mortise. Now, what we're gonna do is just take the thumb screw, slide this out, this goes on top, and this is tapered, and that can that adjusts the size. I already kind of know where the size needs to be for this to fit, so I'm gonna put that right about there on the template, and we're ready to cut a tenon. Now with a tenon, you'll see that I whittle the tenon because the tenon is gonna be inset here, and you've gotta take out a lot of material. So when I'm taking out that material, this assembly is not yet riding on this template until you get down to size. So you'll see that I have to whittle it a little bit until I get it to size. All right, let's start it up and make a tenon. Now I'm on the template. And there you have a tenant. So now, the litmus test of a tenon is, does it fit into the mortise? So let's take a look. Here's, the, here's a test piece for the mortise. Here's the tenon. So it's a little snug. Let's see, we do it again. It's a little bit snug, but perfect fit. Um, for a glue joint, I might make an adjustment and make that tenon just a hair smaller, but there you can see that is a perfect fit. I don't have my square right handy, but these things come out perpendicular, very square. So without a lot of ado, that's the Panto router. It works great for mortise and tenons. Uh, I'm going to use them for cabinet doors and so forth, and I can see a whole bunch of other uses for it. All right, give me some feedback. Click like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.